Moshi Moshi, my gamers, and welcome back to Zelda Zone Zero. Today we're doing Vox Story Quest. Before we get to that, we haven't done like any of the hand of it, so let's do it with Ellen because why not? The send, the send. Uh, are you working or studying? Either. Got nothing to do. Got any fine ideas? Oh, don't bother if you're in such as I won't go in your what accent. Uh, got some snacks for, for, for one for one. Okay, I have I one or six cells of bunches per snacks. Give me some works okay, later. Alright, I'll leave it to you then. When are you free? Let's make it for another 14. Uh, we can do an afternoon because why not? Because we're already free, so let's go. Uh, um, Ellen, you sure is a good idea to wear your maid outfit while you're out in public unless you're working? You're here. I've been looking around for a while. Hey, have you tried the master and final oh, chocolate yeah. boy? Uh, that must be a prop for pranks, right? Really? That should that should be all edible though. Uh, is soda wise edible? It tastes bad, but it's edible. Sound like you tried it. Winner may something to me. It's a wise to explain in love with a pop. Guess uh, guessing delicious? It's not good to waste food, and having it won't cause an issue. Oh, so you got any snacks for foundation? Um, a strange snack? Uh, your taste is really strange, but it won't hurt to try. While picking snacks with Ellen, you're not also picking a few high calorie snacks, but eventually picking them back will regularly. Huh? So, is she sensitive about her weight? But it's best not to say anything. Ah! Your body looks fine! Unless you your boobs being big. They're not that bad as Venus. Do it again! Yeah. Actually, I'll go to the next day, never mind. <gasps> oh, wait, can I do it with other people? <gasps> oh, I'm gonna do it with Nicole! Why not? Uh, got a minute, I got an invitation for you. I'm free, of course. Oh, what is it? Are you taking me out for fancy dinner or I see this business? Uh, are you eating too much? Just want the sandwiches. Oh, okay, sure. Where are we going? Let's go to Box Galaxy. Oh. Ah, sorry, which, my daughter's, my daughter's been say I have had luck today. Can't waste the luck any of this since you won't go back to Box Galaxy too. Let's see them catch the machine there. Who knows? Oh, We've got luck of work on you. Okay. Uh, I'm pretty yeah. lucky today too. Really? Let's see the champ today. I got the fam. Let's make the Box Galaxy to pick up time. Whoa, well, we got two teams. Oh my I mean, she's already there, so... Where is she? Nicole! Uh, hey, Nicole! Why is it shell time? You're not a Persona 5 yet. Unless you are, I don't know. Oh, you're here! I'm feeling good right now. Like, I'm about to get a, a limited edition. Well, let's have a first big call for the day. Which costume machine do you want to try? The one with the left or the right one? The other is the power of your choice. Each of these machines is changed to the train. So, which one will you get for free today? The one on the left or the one on the right? Hmm, the one on the right. The one on the right? Yeah, I got the pigment, but then I'm going for the left. Uh, the why even asked? I gotta check out the first since you're part of the division 2. Your appearance is full of prophecy. Let's see what comes up. This is... What the pity! It really won't. And I already have it. Hmm, wow, well, like yeah, I thought about how I could just send the second hand. Let's go again. I'll probably go to take the line. You play the gun machine with Nicole. Nicole gets pretty lucky with quite a few real rounds. Okay, Nicole. Oh, wait, there's enough for today. I didn't even put the self control like we'll never go too far. Let's put it here again sometime. Oh, Nicole. Wait. Talk to Nicole again? Nah, it's just saying though. Okay, um, let's see who else I can hang out with though, since that's done. So Nicole's busy. Um, she's busy again, so. Okay, let's do, let's do with, uh, let's do with Ambi next, since she's next. Uh, are you free today? I know a piece of day with a client here, so I got some free time. But I, but, uh, but I'm just trying to you, so maybe I'm not free after all. Why is he on a date? Okay, yeah. Okay, is there anything you want to go? Uh, let's go to the Barkin Needle. That's anything what I was thinking. I was planning to go to the Barkin Needle. Uh, great finds things to like. Yeah, I think so too. The weather is perfect, so listen to the, the music. Let's pick us up this later then. I'm free, just let you know when. Sure, after, let's just do it now with Ambi. Hello, Ambi! Oh, around the entrance of Bunnido, you see Ambi saying, Enters at the poster. You approach a panel on the soldier. You made it. Give me, give me the ability to put some light music. What do you think? Uh, I'm in love for light music too. It seems we agree. Light music suits the middle brother. Uh, what if it was a storm today? Hmm, I'll still go with light music. 
Uh, okay. You spend some time listening to music with Ambi. You still don't quite understand the way the music connection is so making, but the music is good. Okay. I hope people assume the music taste gets along with the aspects. That appears to be true. Ah, uh -huh, yeah. So we got that done. So who see? Oh, wait, that's Colin. Hi, Colin. Wait. Use up. Oh, I didn't realize this is three. Never mind. Okay, <laughs> moving on. We're not gonna do this next. Tonight's a chill night. So you've been trying to see with Belle. Until you hear unexpected message notification. Bell, I've seen the strange messages. With the warning moonlight, the chasing shadow is saying after the clock strikes in the night. Old sinner away just in silence. That is so cringy. Who sent this? Lockhorn. Oh, is it one Lockhorn? Wait, you mean Lockhorn that I know? <gasps> we only oh we we know one Lockhorn. You guys can get hacked into the hackers and testing us, but it sounds like can't be because he's asked to play it for food in five minutes. He said that he'll be coming to the video store. Did something happen? But the whole thing just feels so weird. Could it be that Lockhorn, despite seems quite serious, is actually like a deep down? Uh, highly likely. I knew it! He's pretty good at it though. Oh, he says he's only in the video story. To me, the con always suck at the act. We should go back and wait for the story. Back down, you two! After returning to the video story, a wither had knocking cousin door. I said it's Lacan. He's with you, but the gentleman not in enters. My apologies for disturbing you. I am here today to discuss a commission with you, Master Proxies. I trust the both of you have already read the forum post of declared criminal intent I sent you. Forum post of what now? You sent us a forum post? Ah. I believe I reposted it in the group chat. What is this forum okay, if we still the chat history? My most sincere apologies. I failed to send it properly. Ellen just taught me how to long press and send internet links. But it appears I only managed to copy the title. Ah, oh, oh, that's so that weird thing, I guess. text Lycon sent us before was the title of an internet post. Okay, that's kind of disappointing. For a moment, I thought Lycon had a new hobby of some sort. The truth is less exciting than what I imagined. I yet remain apologetic for my mistake. In order to not waste your time, allow me to read the contents of the post aloud for you. With the waning moon nigh, the chosen shall descend as the clock strikes midnight. O sinners, await judgment in silence. That is what the title says. And now, allow me to read the contents for you. On the day of revelation, during the embers of the waning moon, I shall become the chosen of the heavens and descend upon this land of sins, taking back the divine heart in the name of hope. Signed, the Companion of Justice. Hmm. Sounds kinda energetic. Uh, the contents of this post seem quite enigmatic. Did you get any of that, Belle? I feel like I get it, but also don't get it. Lycon, could you translate? Considering the follow-up posts made by this poster, this thread should be a declaration that the poster intends to infiltrate a hollow tonight to steal a famous painting that will be in transport then. And this mm. very painting belongs to one of my current employers. As Which a qualified one? attendant, it is my duty to protect my client's assets. Thus, I was hoping to have you accompany me into the hollow and help stop the theft. Well, we can, but... Well, we can, but... This post looks like it was written by a kid trying to sound edgy. Uh, just trolling. Indeed, you aren't wrong to think that way. I too have considered that possibility. Wait, you know what edgy means? The word edgy appeared in the comments multiple times. In order to figure out the exact meaning of this term, I scoured the web and carefully perused several books on the topic before getting an understanding of the nuance behind it. Oh no, he's reading some brainwashed words. Well, I can sure is diligent. The Gen C ones, okay? Even if the post is, as you said, merely a prank, that is also an acceptable outcome. You see, Eliminating potential threats to my master's safety is also an important duty of an attendant. Of course, regardless of the outcome, I will see to it to give you sufficient compensation, Master Proxies. As this is quite urgent, I'm willing to offer twice the usual commission fee as compensation, if that would be alright with you. We'll take the commission. We'll take the commission. After all, we can't leave a friend in need hanging. You didn't hesitate at all. How wise. Well then, I suppose this contract is settled. Thank you kindly for your trust. I shall take my leave for now. Once both of you are ready, please make your way to the hollow. Bleed out, no, bleed out, yeah, bleed sure. We can borrow Grisby. As but usual, and leave the beer store. Guys, I don't think I can avenge the crimes. It's something I know that would be oh, okay. before they're about to steal something. Uh, I see it's a phantom thief? You mean I did that was a chance to call and I have seen the city and steals from under everyone's noses? That phantom thief? No, that's something I like to steal. See, I mean? 
But yeah, this game will leave. We can keep looking waiting for too long. All right, let's go. All right, we're getting started. Okay. I didn't expect to get started. Who's up there? See someone? That person just now looks super suspicious. Warning. It's most A likely the thief. energy detected ahead. You should go after them. Enemies. The smell of ethereals. How disgusting. You needn't worry. Leave the cleaning to me. With my mates. What you say? Warning. Strong ethereal energy detected up ahead. How did she go? That thief was able to get through despite being so small and weak. Small is she? More vigilant. <laughs> like hard work? Well, box sounds easy to say. Okay. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah. Up. Back up. I'm behind you. Dodge that. Ooh, nice. Keep swinging. Okay. Alright, got that down. Here we go. Legs. Leg work. Let's go for This guy, damn! Yeah. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, you sound angry! Mm. Oh, you shit? Mm. Okay. Go, Rina. Scout! Oh my god. We should turn right. But there are some supplies up ahead. I'll go by your decision, Master Proxy. It's called healing! Oh. Ooh, okay! We'll be fine, old Vox. We'll be fine, okay, Foxy? I'm just flowing so fast. Oh, -ho, goodness! Don't know a lot of damage, that's good. The path ahead seems to be blocked by Ethereals. Don't worry, I will clear the way for you. I got it. Ellen, you miss! You got damn it, I missed! You're fine! Yeah. Oh, you your legs. Oh, oh, yes. Oh. And boom. Alright, oh, right. go forward. What's that person? Damn! We're surrounded by ethereals. Okay. Please allow me a little time to deal with them. There you go, box. <sighs> Amateurs. Go for Ellen. <laughs> and boom, boom. Um, how do I? Oh, not done yet. Okay. Just one and jog it with you. Supply the wheel. Dodge and box! Okay. And... Extra reward, ooh. Okay. Let's keep jogging our way through here. Looks like that thief is trapped by some ethereal. Things don't look too good. Let's deal with the surrounding ethereals first. And scissors, you are paper! Go ahead. You close up. Oh, that was quick, Elden. Damn! Uh, let's see how is your name? So is a girl? Huh. The thief is just a kid. <laughs> What's wrong, Con? What's wrong? Your expression is a little... Odd. No, it's nothing. This is just a bit shocking. Shocking? How so? Please, do not worry. It's nothing major, it's just that, well, this lady thief is my current employer. Not long ago, I was contracted by her family and temporarily took over their previous attendance duties. Huh? 
So she's stealing from her own house? What? Master, I have found a proverb that fits the current situation. She is going against her family, like machine oil, that decided to flood the workshop. Ha ha, ha ha. Did you just laugh? That's kind of awkward. Barry, now's not the time for bad jokes. Yeah, you tell Ms. them. Miss Lilac, could you explain why you are here? I know not of this lilac you speaketh of. Thou dost not know my name. But, very well. Allow me to enlighten thee. Mortals, hear me! Well, wow, she sounds like official. My name you is... You guys hear it? Lempeluch Asnabel Bentumhine Lilac. But thou may also call me the chosen of the world's end. The companion of justice. Hmm. Um, okay, is this still just Lakak? Uh, I think I still heard the name Lilac in there. Incorrect. That's Lempelouche Asnabel Phantom Hind Lilac to you. Not Lilac. Grandiose, yet lengthy and jumbled ah. terminology. Speech filled with emotion, <laughs> but lacking any efficiency in communication. I see. I suppose this is a textbook example of the edgy speech pattern. However, from my perspective, it appears you have no issues communicating with her. Could this be the popular subculture amongst the youth today? Hmm. Uh, it's really not. It's really not. Basically, nobody speaks like this nowadays. If I had to guess, it was in style maybe three trends ago. If I might be blunt, your explanation is also quite confusing. However, we shouldn't linger here. I recommend we escort her out of the hollow. Yeah, like get out, child. And who might thou be? This is Wise, a friend of mine, Miss Lilac, about what happened just now. I have told thee before, I am not Lilac. I am Lampelouche Asnabel Phantom High Lilac. What a long name, it's Jesus such a Christ. Long name. You just made it up yourself, didn't you? Made what up? This name is from my favorite comic. I. <clears throat> I mean, oh, it this slipped. is the name it slipped. bestowed upon me since conception. I heard that slip up. I heard that. From the comics, huh? Oh, yeah, we saw Miss it. Miss Lilac, would you like blueberry mousse or orange tart for afternoon tea tomorrow? <laughs> blueberry mousse, for sure. Oh. You admitted to it. Uh -huh. You finally admitted it. You really are the child of his employer, Lilac. How? How could you use food to trip me up? Mm, that's cheating! So you can speak normally. Aha. The staple of an edgy persona. Once exposed, they ditch the pretenses. Miss Lilac, if I may ask you, why do you want to steal this painting? Stealing a painting? <laughs> As expected, you can only see the surface of all this. Unfortunately for your feeble minds, the shallows do not typically contain the truth. May I be so bold as to assume that the post on Internaut was also put up by you? Uh, what post? I don't know of any post. On the day of revelation, <gasps> during the embers of the waning moon, I shall become the chosen of the heavens and descend upon this land of sins taken back. Stop! Stop, stop, stop! Okay. What's with that bland as hell reading? If you tried to sign up for the organization right now, <laughs> I bet they'd drop you in the first round. But the organization probably wouldn't want someone as stuffy as you in the first place. Never mind a painting. I bet you couldn't even steal a coin. What is this organization you speak of? The organization is the organization. Stealing this painting is the test they gave me. Once I pass this test, I can join them and become a companion of justice. I just didn't think that I'd get something belonging to my parents as a target. Hmm. The doesn't test people by having them steal things? The entrance test is to steal something? What sort of organization is this? Obviously, a phantom thieves syndicate. What else? Oh my god, it's Persona 5. Do yeah. you really not know about Mockingbird? The most famous phantom thieves in all of New Eridu? <sighs> Searching for Mockingbird, an infamous thief syndicate that steals from the rich and gifts to the poor. Though their reputation is quite mixed, they once fooled and scammed almost all the wealthy elites of New Eridu. The organization was inactive for quite some time, but has recently resurfaced on Internaut. They're merely a group of criminals, nothing more. 
Mockingbird isn't just some group of criminals. They're chivalrous thieves who steal from the rich and give to the poor. They are justice itself, and I am one of the chosen. Lampelouche as the Bell Phantom Hind Lilac! Also known as the Chosen of the World's End, the Companion of Justice! Miss Lilac. That's enough. Don't try to stop me. You can't possibly understand this kind of justice or my determination to become a phantom thief. You misunderstand. As an attendant, it is my duty to protect my master's assets. So I cannot allow you to steal this painting. However, please do not worry. As per the contract I have signed, you too are my employer. And I will not prevent you from doing as you wish. Nor will I tell your parents. Yet I must warn you, the organization that calls itself Mockingbird is not necessarily trustworthy. And there are great risks in trying to join. I hope you can reconsider. I thought you were going to be all stuffy and stuck up like my previous attendants. Never thought you might be different from these old fossils. As for the painting, it's fine, even if you don't let me take it. Hmm, I have other ways. Okay. Laga leaves, but Lakan doesn't follow. But is Bruce okay to leave like this? Please do not worry. I will not let the situation remain as it currently is. It's just considering what I know of people such as Miss Lilac. Forcing my opinion will only cause more trouble. If I want her to understand the issue at hand, I need to find a more appropriate method. Something more direct and impactful that'll teach her where the issue lies. Apart from that, I also need some time to look into this ostensible Mockingbird's current dealings more thoroughly. Hmm. Have you worked with... No, you seem very interested in Mockingbirds. Lycon. Why do you care so much about this Mockingbird organization? Have you had issues with them in the past or something? My relationship with Mockingbird... I wouldn't exactly call what transpired issues. It has to do with a mistake I once made. I apologize. This has to do with some unpleasant history. When the opportunity presents itself, I will tell you more. You have my word. Yeah, thanks. Thanks, Vox. Hi, Bam! Hey, you never know what's in this will come to a business of, of thieves. There's, uh, there's something wrong with the mockingbirds. Yep, there's no crime among all these fan thieves. <laughs> Stay from the woods and give you the poisons. There's things to do sus. Oh my god, again, again Belle. You also did this thing up with Laka, Vice? Mm -hmm. He says, it feels like this is going to try something. But it's getting late. Let's sleep early. Let's, let's up, we just have to wait for Laka to get in touch. Yep. Next story with Fox. It feels like you meet up with Laka at the coffee shop in the Moscow as you did earlier. I'm going to the Mockingbird exit from before. I have constructed a play no. investigation. It seems as though the Lagoon is the really trying to get close to Miss Laka after all. That's definitely up to something. That's why. The true attention of these people will make unclear, however, I have already prepared my bait. Perhaps a big fish will take a bait soon. Actually, there's one more thing I'd like to discuss with you. If it's not too much to ask, could you spare some time on time tomorrow? I have some doubt about it. Okay, so I hope you help to go. Of course. Wonderful. Then I'll bring you at the last square this time tomorrow. Alright, the next day, Wise headed to the Lamar Square and immediately spot Lock on the crowd. He steps forward and stands on tiptoes to pat the cars on the back. Okay? Ah, you are very punctual. I wanted to discuss with you that recently, Miss Lilac has been acting rather strange. While she usually frequents the bookstore, recently, she has been going to the noodle shop instead. What's wrong with the noodle shop? What's wrong with the noodle shop? Noodles are pretty good. I apologize. I have no bias against noodles. What I mean is, Miss Lilac's least favorite food is noodles. She even said, noodles being the protest yeah, favorite food, that's so last year. It's a oh, new shit, year man. now. Have some creativity. So Lilac is a big comic nerd. Lilac seems to be quite the comic nerd. In addition, no, according to what her it's chauffeur and bodyguard said, she even skipped her extra classes today. This is completely <laughs> unprecedented. Miss Lilac has always been well behaved and never skips classes. Even in her free time, she spends it almost entirely reading comics. I have a suspicion that this all might have to do with that so-called Mockingbird organization. Hmm. Uh, that Phantom Thief taught Laka some bad habits? Did the Phantom Thieves teach Lilac bad habits? Yes, I believe so. In any case, in order to ensure that there are no potential threats to her safety, 
I wish to do some investigating at the places she frequents. If I could be so bold as to ask you to accompany me, I believe you are likely more familiar with Lumina Square than I am. Sure. I... Lumina Square is like a second home to me. Sure. Lumina Square may as well be my second home. It seems you are indeed quite familiar with the location. I was wise to ask for your help. Ah, yes. There was something else I wished to discuss with you. May I call you Master while investigating, just in case. I believe using this to cover our identities will be more convenient for us. Hmm. Oh my god, you know, I'm gonna say anyways, call me that much you want, I like it. Sure. You can call me that as many times as you want. Thank you for your cooperation, <laughs> then. Oh my let god. Let us begin from the noodle shop. Oh god, this is gonna sound like awkward and oh, there's only a line over here. Why? It looks like the same as my old one, that's kinda weird. Oh, it's you guys. Uh, why don't you ask you about something? Well, so I'm in the middle of something right now and there's a steam because it's out of the door. Oh, uh, we're pretty sure start the shop with it, and the part time kid won't always have to come in. Besides, I have to stuff all the dinner too. Some people take a good uh, adjusted order and jump to the shop here. We're like, we make it we're even if a world that no advance for some customers. Is quite a wish to order? Quite good. If I get the orders in advance, then I will edit closing the noodles. I see, I will probably to address them problem. You can just for yourself if it's appropriate. With your assets, we can sign a temporary contract. I can ask for your dinner about their preferences, give them some appropriate suggestions, and summarize everything in clear. Of course, I won't be required for any more cooperation. I just hope you can take the time to answer the few questions once you're less busy. Yeah. Uh, lock on sure is one to for attendance. If you say so, I said I'll leave this to you. Okay, I guess we're gonna. Oh my. I'm gonna stay from the back, okay? I'll come to the front last. Hello. The people of noodles look so good to me. Good day. I wish my father has many stories that match the dishes that sushi needs in increasing fishy. But I don't really have a, any special quests. I like one of your suggestions. Is anything to go in? How about this white bowl of fried barbecue noodles? It's one of the most popular dishes. That sounds pretty good, but isn't fried barbecue a little greasy? I like eating meat, but it's not very healthy if it's greasy. Well, how about a black bowl of red chilled chicken noodles? The soup isn't greasy and it's good for your immune system. That doesn't sound good, but the black bowl oh, has red chills in it. Will that be a bit too spicy? I can eat spicy food that's no problem to peel, but I don't feel like eating something that's super spicy. Uh, I thought you said you don't have any special requests. It's quite a while, I understand. Master, please on the dinner solution. I have a dish with a main request, meaty, but not greasy and not spicy. Please could you search them just for them? Okay. Alright, bone broth noodles. Wow, that sounds great, and the meat of the bones does look look at all. I'll take out for those. Your order has been just settled. Thank you for your business. No, no, I should be thank you. I'm not the type of dinner that make quests. I'll be will pay if we will get paid either way. Thank you for sharing your concern. We'll always try to cook these food dinners. No matter the customer, I hope you have a lovely meal. I expect a calm, cool, calm and collected. But don't piss it because you're barking like bah, 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 motherfucker. Alright. This talk to officer? What's she doing here? Uh, look at the car! Oh, 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 they're going to wait for us. We don't get about you from here. Good day. I wish you could find me says that I mentioned the dishes that suit you need to increase the fish. Excuse me, how do you your noodles? Give me a flavor, of course it's going to be spicy. Noodles without chill is not without hollow. It's not natural. I'm sorry, but noodles aren't spicy to exist in the world, or at least they're here. They are here. If you want strong, we got it. Master, besides this dinner decision, I have any rather than a a black bowl, pepper house soup, and dish with meat. Pick something like this for them. Hmm. Okay. Black bowl mushroom noodles. I want some meat. That's not a vision. Who was that? Master, business is. Oh. My bad. Uh, I mean, we're chill chicken noodles. My bad. Mm, not bad. I feel like it's really in the spot. That's not even really hard. I More thought you were some rich person who bought the attention about this version of Live Lobo. Uh, thank you, I guess. You're welcome. I want to add extra chilies to this you got. Your order has been settled. Thank you for your business. He's like, Alright, ma'am, you're done. Now, one more who's in the front of the line who walks with me. What you doing here, girl? He's like, Oh, hey, Weiss! I didn't expect to see you here! What the fuck? Hey, oh, God, again? Oh, I hate my boys better. Wow, this is nothing to this. love the server. Good day. I wish to play the main service that matters which is a suit your needs and increase in fishing. May I ask what appeals to your taste? My taste is a little isn't it? I love it in Ireland. It also into foods and 
uh, that's all me. I just made some cookie dough. What I mean is, how do you like your noodles? Oh, that's the case. I like sweet noodles. Master, please understood. I have one from the main request. White ball prefer on the suicide. Is it in your clothes? Yes. Um, pumpkin soup noodle. Not bad. I say how I like it. By the way, do you mind if I wash the tents by our ink? They go really well together. I don't think it's a good idea. I will affect the wound of the storm. That's, that's too bad. For well, saying I don't know on the main will turn into a high end rubber stick. I got my uh, one last question for you. May I please pet your tail? Uh, go right ahead. It's free, I guess. Uh, thank you, but the tail is off limits. Oh my god, they, she said they were furry. That's hilarious. I can't look all the orders in the customer in line. Let's hurry up and get chocolate at the final table. Oh my goodness. Okay. That's it? You guys are moving fast. Let me see. There's a concrete curtain with probably easy to be on. We are drinking our water. Oh, what's up for the pattern? I love this kind of pattern helping up with the daily opponent shop. It's just like the customer he will attract just to stay in there. Uh, Macron's stuff is cost top dollar. You please harass me, but you surely are joking. I am many humble attendants. I wonder if we might be able to answer nice a few questions. Oh, also, what about that? Go ahead, ask me. You can talk about anything you want, except my pin. I was seeing a little girl called Laka. She used to stop the store graffiti. Also, I know it isn't the greatest, and it always ruins other people's name. Well, she always saying that that's pretty fun difficult to understand. I remember now. That girl who's always talking nonsense. I know her. I saw her recently. She she just came here into our store and it was some part time work. One look tells her to never think of figure out how to at home. But she's a hard working studio and pretty good person. See the way, I just paid her a big win on her salary today. She seems nice and she left her store under a, a cover, so I gave her an advance. An advance on her salary. Got it. Thank you for your accomplishment. Let's you have been a much help. It's fine. Now that you mentioned it, what is your vision for that kid? Lara is my employer. She has some minor issues with me and I have three boss to keep her safe. So it's like that then. Hey on. If that kid is your boss, then does that mean wise? I'm Lokon's master. Correct. Mr. Wise is my master. Ah, now I get it. Anyways, those attendants, you're very capable. If you act on every side to get the future, please call in for me. I'll make it worth your while. Looks like you got a lot of got a lot of information about Lakon. Discuss with you discuss with, with Lakon. I did not expect Miss Lilac would actually work here part time. Logically speaking, she would not lack pocket money to spend unless perhaps she's saving up to purchase something particularly expensive. Hmm. Uh she's not going to try to buy that painting, is she? Is it possible that Lilac wants to instead buy that painting she was going to steal? As expected of a great proxy such as yourself. You came to this conclusion immediately as well. Lilac's parents have been planning to sell a batch of paintings recently. That painting is amongst them, and I hear it was reserved a couple of days ago. But that painting is not cheap. If I had to guess, I'd say it costs a thousand. Logan uses his hand to code the puzzle large number. Excuse me? How much? Wait a second. How much? Could someone her age really afford something like that? Well. In terms of material wealth, my employer is indeed quite affluent. Material wealth? Material wealth? Is there another kind of wealth? <sighs> Miss Lilac's parents are usually exceptionally busy and are unable to spend time with her. However, they are very strict and expect the best from her. No matter what she is doing, she usually has a chauffeur or bodyguards to accompany her. Well, excuse me, monitor her actions would be a more apt way to put it. Every day after school, Miss Lilac also has endless extracurricular and supplementary classes to attend, though she may have material wealth. Is she truly happy? I've been wondering ever since I took over attendant duties for this household. Perhaps that is exactly why Miss Lilac spends so much time with her comics. At the very least, in the world of comic book fiction, she is free. Hmm. Look, look, it's so responsible. Truly, you're such a conscientious attendant. Your employers are lucky they managed to hire you. You flatter me. I do not believe I live up to your praise. Someone once told me that family is an everlasting, unavoidable curse placed upon a person. No matter how much you grow, no matter where you go, that curse will forever follow you like a shadow. When you fall to rock bottom or climb to your peak, it will appear. Turning you back into that helpless, powerless child. 
who can do nothing but hide in the closet and weep. Perhaps it is because I have never known the feeling of being bonded to someone through blood, but I've always believed that family should not be a curse, as they had told me. Hmm. Hmm, family can be full of warmth. Family can be full of warmth. They're to support you every step of the way. It seems you and your kin are quite close. I am sincerely happy to know that. I believe Lilac chose to work part-time due to her family as well. Perhaps her savings are just short of being able to afford the painting, and she does not wish to ask her parents for help. Or perhaps she simply wants to obtain something through the efforts of her own two hands. However, what I am most worried about is that if Miss Lilac did manage to buy the painting, it would then follow that she would meet with members of Mockingbird. If this is so, she may end up in danger. So, could I be so bold as to ask you to accompany me to another location? Once we are there, I should be able to confirm where exactly that painting will end up. Yeah, sure, look on. So, building right here. Is this even good? Wait, what's he doing here? Oh, this young gentleman is here. Is he going to buy some jade? We just got some new passion. I. Uh, no thanks, I don't need it. Uh, as well as the wish, gentlemen. How about this? You buy a piece of jade for this dinner or something for you. It could be talking to trust between you two. See if you've seen your, your masses in person. Just imagine passing this down the fire jade of the decision. How about this? I'll cut the 12 discount. I particularly gave you a way to clear the way and make friends. The name is Cassie. Every pawn trader around well, here knows my name. You guys are lucky to have up to me. Lizzie, we are not here to shop. Have you heard about the famous piece of the machine getting in touch? Do you know who this is? Did this I mean? It was the artist himself. All his work are supposed to be fireproof. Let's be burns, it's definitely a thing. No, Alright, your turn. Which one has the highest success in the field so far? Mockingbird. Or Mockingbird precisely, the formerly awkward active Mockingbird. Ah, I never would get a couple of decent looking guys like you were acting, no. Guess this isn't Bones' question. Who is the leader of the Mockingbirds? That's not one of our code words. Uh, I have a question for you. Uh, if you knew the answer to the history big secret, you wouldn't be staying here, would you? Remain silent. Fine, go. Anything you need to sell? My cousin fixed 20% no this time. No, we have to ask you some information. Naturally, we shall offer a public commission. Oh, looking for a bit of intel, huh? You come to the right person. A rules of rule. If you want me for I need to record the word. And your master has to give it to me, too. The most famous place in the museum was touched for this arsenic. A thief. Incorrect. Oh, my bad. My bad. It hey, ours himself. Very good, correct. Which one of the highest consistent is the few for five? Mockingbird. Very good, you're correct. Dude, then what do you want to know? It's about the painting. Divine Heart. Do you know who the buyer is? Oh, that. Then you really have come to the right place. The buyer's of the painting is a little girl, I believe. No, uh, kiss he says. Each richer than the last. That's precisely as I predicted. Got it. Thank you for the information. No problem. Oh yeah. Well, one more question for the contestants. Are you working solo these days, or do you have a partner? Surely, the proper gentleman here was this innocent bamboo eye, isn't the partner, right? I once have a partner, but now we are enemies. Oh, you haven't seen time to the line to work. We all have partners, but end up breaking our enemies. So why did you split? Dump trouble defying your cut security? Come on, spill the beans. I love hearing these stories. I'm sorry, that's private. Lock on founds and pulls off the on the cover on the scope. He seems well in the talk about the topic. Yikes, just put a look at your face. You must probably read some poor drama. Shame that we didn't know each other back then. I'm the top of med uh manager is in this city and maybe if I step in, you still have a peaceful spinning your profit. So what's with the former part up without? Have they got any good stuff? Go on, tell me I'll pay top Denny. I heard of saying silence and golden, motherfucker. It's okay, thank you for helping out master. Mr. Sandy, here's your promise with it. Let us see by parts ways. After talking to the sassy, well, suspicious merchant, you give Lakhan a wink. Lakhan and Missy understand, and the two of them walk the world uh, uh, together. You seem to have something about which you would like to inquire. Please, go ahead. Hmm. Uh, why do you know so much about these kinds of transactions? How come you know so much about this sort of thing? I've merely dabbled a little in such things. I would not consider myself an expert. I understand your confusion. However, this concerns my past. It also concerns my nemesis. 
Hmm, I see. I see. You haven't said anything yet, but I think I get it. Indeed. They are memories I would rather not bring up. In any case, that past is not pleasant. Hmm. Okay, all right. I'll let you off the hook for now. All right, well, I'll let you off the hook now, but I'll keep it in mind. Thank you for your understanding. As a matter of fact, I once had dealings with these intermediaries due to... Uh, well, I had my reasons. Many of them are so cunning, they will take advantage of any weaknesses they perceive. It takes patience and effort to deal with them. If you ever come across such merchants in the future, please be careful. And do not give your trust lightly. Seeing as Miss Lilac has already obtained the painting, she must be meeting with the people from Mockingbird soon. We must stop her before that happens. She should have just finished her supplementary classes. Let's head over and take a look. Eh, she must have been over there like, oh shit, my class, uh, I'm going home now. Is that her class? You see? Oh my god, though. They're around Lacan. Oh god. A furry! Ah! So, Mom is a super mean part of these singers. They can go over anything if they want to. Not even Tufts can stop them. Really? I'm not buying it. Do you believe me that these cases them was the, the. What was it again? That Lacan Hotel. That Lacan Hotel. That's right. That's the one. I also have another Mockingbird? Not really. I just have to know a thing or two about them. Um, the student gets around Lacan, Chang, and the Z. Seems like he managed to make his way into the inner circle. It's time to ask about Lilac. I got a question. I'm gonna ask you all. Do you know Miss Lilac? Sure, she is our wild class. But I don't think she's here today. She was here, here but she only left. Not sure what's up with her. She's always all about saying complaints and justice stuff. Totally agree if you ask me. Nah, you're just not getting it. She's trying to be edgy. Edgy? That's ancient. Yeah, that's gender dialogue the last decade. Alright, oh, it's the last PTA. Her folks didn't show. Some old dude called him instant. I think it was her attendant. I thought it was her grandpa. But since she loaded, she even got a personal goodie. I thought she just had a to the teacher at home then. Who knows? We were just want to make friends. Uh, she saw some time. I feel kind of sorry for her. It's not like there's much we can do. But she really can't make hands and tell them today. But she's always very so kind of doing great. I, I'm like, no things. I wouldn't want to hang out with someone like her. Look at the pills at the corner. Miss Laga. Uh oh. Is she went away? Huh? Isn't that lovely? It is! Pin against the wall. I mean, not enemies. Pin against the pillar. Where the fuck were you? Miss Lilac. That's enough. I don't want to hear it. Are you someone seeing me like this? I'm used to shift free so here by everyone. That's the kind of person I am. Are you happy now? I went off. Look at you glare at each other silly before you're chasing after her. Uh oh. Gonna get her. Like, wait! <laughs> Hey no! Yo weeb! You don't get bullied for being a weeb, you know why? They don't get it! That's what it's called. It's like being an anime fan in the beginning and people judge you for it because of what you like. Now everyone gets it. Social media changed you. Alright, good song. You've been investing me all this time. Was it my father and mother who pulled up with this? Is it because I skipped my extra class and I dropped the wicked left next time? There's all the other things. It was all my ex ever I remember. Little went off again. Luka and you guys just said before chasing after again. Oh my god, what did she? Oh, there she is. Ma'am, stand still. You also think the other students are correct, right? A computer doesn't. What is junk? I feel it's all day long about the chasing one. Yet I can't even chunk my day life. But it's just the only dream. Why do you want to take that away from me? Stop blaming me. Don't look at me, please. Oh my god, Little went off again. Luka and you guys just said other side before chasing after her. Again! Why not a city? That's kinda crazy. You in front of the a police station? Like seriously? Officer Mir, you didn't help? Really? Never mind. Having one of the sounds looking for a long time, you already out of breath while looking for Mason Kapozero. Do you attempt catch his eyes and sense his sensing? As if wanting to suggest killing you. Luckily you managed to catch up to look before that. Kill me? Miss Lilac, please. We have no, no ill intentions. And I do not agree with what those other students said about you. I merely want to warn you that Mockingbird is suspicious. It is possible you may encounter danger if you go. Even if I'm in danger, it doesn't concern you. In the end, you're just an attendant that my parents hired. Why are you trying to stick your nose into everything? In any case, you're probably just like those other people. You must think I'm a freak, just 
like they do. Well, I'm so sorry that you're forced to take care of someone who only causes trouble, who no one loves, who's edgy and delusional like me. I've never thought that, Miss Lilac. You are the respectable, important employer of Victoria Housekeeping. We would never treat someone like yourself with such utter disrespect. But you weren't even willing to listen to what I said. <sighs> My most sincere apologies. My knowledge is lacking. I have yet to better understand popular subcultures, such as what being edgy truly means. I shall make sure to take lessons and educate myself on it. Um... Uh, I don't think we can expect Lacan to understand such edgy speech. Let's be real. Isn't it a little unfair to expect others to understand such over-the-top language? I mean, the only reason I get it is, uh, because I'm kind of special. It doesn't matter <laughs> anymore. This is all just the price I need to pay to become a companion of justice. I bought the painting so I can finally meet with them. The people at Mockingbird told me that I'm the most promising recruit yet. I will join them and become a companion of justice. You cannot stop me. <sighs> I understand. If that is your wish, I will not stop you. I will help you fulfill it. You... I'm meeting with Mockingbird at the Ballet Twins at this time tomorrow. You know, I can, in fact, do this by myself. I don't need you. I've got a carrot and I've prepared weapons to deal with the ethereals. So, I don't care if you come or not. It's up to you. Yeah, that's just coming with Lacac waves. My apologies. I have brought shame to myself by making Miss Lilac feel uncomfortable. I have failed in my duties as an attendant. Are we going to do this? Are you really going to do this? To help grant Lilac her wish? Yes, I will. However, the wish I will help her fulfill is what her heart truly desires. If I'm correct in my suspicions, she doesn't simply wish to join Mockingbird. That's only what's on the surface. She has other needs, emotional needs. That are truly what she seeks to fulfill. And song calling me oi. The fish has taken the bait. Fish well. By fish, you mean. That organization calling itself Mockingbird has contacted me. Master Proxy, may I ask you for a favor? Please. This is something only you can do. Alright, you can I am I going Oh I am. Oh my god, her room is open! I could go and suck. <gasps> Oh my god, you room is messy compared to my well, not really, it's just her best space. But, oh wow, she is a gamer. Oh ho, 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 ho. Hold on, let me check my room. Do I am I game myself? I'm looking about I'm looks like I am not. Oh man, I might believe I am still just mostly working, that's why Will was. She has her own fridge! How come I don't? That's unfair, I don't have any. Anyways, hey Belle. I assume you didn't expect things to sound like this. I feel so oh god. Yeah, but I never thought to come up with something like that. Anyways, let's wait for his message. Yes. Okay, let's finish this story quest. Now lot of the vision of Wise Lucky Promise. Luck has said an exact location where she will be meeting the organization. I feel we have to face the mockingbird head on. It'll be alright, I'm not afraid of them. Please boy, I'll convince that I will defeat them. But aside from that, I'll come for you for that other business. I'm ready. I appreciate your help. I have to make some preparation. I will not find you once everything you take care of. How everything goes well. Who will you bring? I'll discuss the secret plan with Lacan. Show the out of town with the views of Lacan's DM arrives. Okay. What's up? Master Poxy, I think it's way and I am very pleasant to the target. I wish you finish searching the Master Poxy. Be right there. Thank you, I'll be waiting to be your rival. What kind of stuff she doesn't want you ready? Yeah, got it! Oh, well, Lacan, last story quest of the episode. The way is blocked. Let's keep going up the stairs. Joy, buddy. Whoa! What is this music? For oh, Lacan's dumb music. Got two eyes and the Columbus. This one is ice and ethereal. Corruption. So I got the pull. Go, slash them both. Thank you. Miss. I don't know. 
know. Going in for and sweeting. Why Alex still isn't here? I set the meeting time a little early, just in case. There are still okay. some materials ahead. Yeah. We best get rid of this. First. That's why you got here early? To deal with the ethereals? Indeed. As an attendant, the safety of my client is paramount. Yes. Yeah, I now alone. I brought Ellen and a code with me. Ellen, don't sleep on the job. I'm not. I'm awake. Fully awake. Okay, I'm good. And a code who is still too as well. Why am I? I was good. No. Oh, no. Anyways, the code was saying, I'm here because I just want to. I am bored. So at least I'm here. Oh, I'm being so So why not? Don't mess up my name. Oh, well, you last, right? I'm gonna save my all. Look this. Is this this spot? Okay, it's not final wave. You just say that so. Keep attacking. Watch the glass. Not all. Not all. Alright. Well then. This guy. Oh my god. Bombs? Are they blown? Oh, move all the way! Okay. Last of the way. Oh, you just killed them all with your legs, damn! Now we're heading. Oh, hold on. Let me grab this. Let's go in circles, aren't we? That's what it looks like. Lilac is over there. Let's go talk to her. Um, she said she don't care, but so you yeah, actually came, Miss Lilac. Are you sure you want to meet those people? Of course, I've never been sure about just as sure about anything in my life. I've been really, really looking forward to this day. You have no idea what Mark and Pearl means to me. I've never been to any setting before. What well, to expect? But actually, something. Do you? Prove yourself before you seek to prove the others. What does that matter? It's almost time. I have to get going. Okay, ma'am. I'll just attack the bills as well as the heal. Does he know what we're doing? Yeah. Uh -uh, I doubt that. Yeah, we're good. We're good. Ooh, what a cheap man, okay. Something. Shut the door like this. Is Lilac really okay? She may just need some time. But yeah. I believe she'll wake up. Yeah, People soon. People need to go through some ups and downs in life. That's true, everyone. what they truly desire. Yes, that is true right there. Hold on, let me get this first. Yeah. There's some stuff there I wanna grab. I'm gonna grab it. They're trying to blast me. I'm good. Now that I'm good at dodging. We'll be okay, right? I hope I'm right. Yeah. Sure about that. Okay. Better down. Hey! Leave it to me! What's this? Not good. What is it doing? Suck this! Ellen. Yeah. Upstairs. Um. What? The other one. The torch one. Report to duty. Oh, huh. Wait. Ellen's just hell staying like, ah, oh, my. Ellen. I mean, get out of there, ma'am. Uh huh. You're very important need. Welcome to my fellow company of justice. I've had to Painting carpet. It's a real deal. Ellen, what? Are you getting bored? I'm sorry. Okay, anyways. It's a real deal. You're totally capable without being a chosen one. Great. Can I become my voice? Haha, uh -huh, of course. We need to talk like you. 
Just kidding. I didn't expect you to fall for this. But then, what would you expect from the young lady who has been waiting for the hand on foot? Huh? You don't seem to believe you are a chosen one, do you? You don't, right? But you said you need my power. Well, actually, interesting, your parents. You think you've gone to go to trouble with your one witch? Isn't the monkey was all about how the poor and me perform the pitch? That's really what we're doing. You are a witch, aren't you? Liar. All of you. We did lie to you, but don't you think your kind is all over, Bob? Why are you guys playing? I'm going to I'm sorry if you trust my sleeves. What? Who doesn't? Mine is right here. It's showtime, my attendant buddy. Oh, lock on. Here we go. Lycon! No way, you- <laughs> She wouldn't hurt you. He wouldn't. Huh? Lycon, you! We had a deal! Deal? Oh, I made a deal. <sighs> but not with you. Hell yeah, I told him that a few days ago. Master Proxy, I need your help. To investigate this so-called Mockingbird, I attempted to get into contact with them to express my desire to join their organization. Through my own methods, I found out they had already looked into my background and knew that, although I am currently working for Lilac's family, I am actually loyal to an unknown master. Could I trouble you with putting on an act with me? I would like you to meet with them posing as this unknown master. Leave it to me. I am a great master. Leave it to me. I'm a great master. Fantastic. I expect no less from New Eridu's greatest proxy. In order to help our disguise, I have crafted a new identity for you. You needn't worry. Simply speak as you typically would. Okay, you all can pick up a call from Mockingbird. Oh ho! So you are the one who wishes to join Mockingbird. You may call me Codename K. What do you think? It's a great name, ain't it? Doesn't it sound awe-inspiring? K? What a strange name. Uh, come on. K? Okay. That's a weird name. It's Codename K! Don't just get rid of words and other people's names! Without the codename part, it won't show any of the awesome epicness of me being a final villainous boss! Oh! So you are also into the trending subcultures among young people? What trending subcultures? I don't know what you're talking about. Anyway, you must be the rumored attendant Lycon and the Gemini God. Wait a minute. What, what, what the heck is Gemini God? That's clearly not a real name. My master has many enemies. Please understand that they cannot reveal their true name. Uh, enemies? Uh, very well then. Since we're all in the same line of business, I'll be straight with you. Lilac is our golden ticket, and we put in a lot of effort to get her to bite. We gotta squeeze every last drop we can get. We plan to take care of her for a bit after she mistakenly stumbles into the hollow, and then contact her parents for some of that dough. You have a similar plan, right? How about we work together? We can split it 70-30. 70 for us, 30 for you. Isn't that just kidnapping? Isn't that just kidnapping? Kidnapping? How very ignorant of you. We're just taking a little fee for looking after a poor kid in the hollow. So what do you say? Okay, I'm in. Of course, I'm in. As my master says, it's a deal. So it's settled. Quick and forthright as expected of a fellow business person. I'll send you the time and location later. We shall eagerly await your message. Okay. Code name King hangs up. That should do it. Once we are there, we can pretend to work with them, photograph all the evidence of their wrongdoings, and then send the evidence to public security. Thank you for your cooperation. You are quite adept at acting. Hmm, Lakan, just what kind of identity did you give me? Just what kind of identity did you give me? Simply put. You are an influential and all-powerful head honcho of a crime syndicate that delights in doing evil. You have a network of elite agents at your beck and call, and I am one of your humble enforcers. Ah, right. There is something else I would like to discuss with you. Please do not inform Miss Lilac of any of this just yet. Speaking from personal experience, an encounter such as this cannot be resolved purely through reliance on others. We can help Miss Lilac deal with this threat. We cannot protect her forever. She must see through this conspiracy herself. 
Perhaps this may be somewhat cruel, but in the long term, it will help her. That makes sense. Yeah, you're right. Let's do it then. Thank you. I believe in Miss Lilac and her ability to overcome this. Back to the present. Mr. Lycon! You... didn't betray me? Miss Lilac, until our contract ends, I am your humble attendant. An attendant will never betray their master. Damn you! You dare toy with me? Do you know who I am? I'm the great leader of Mockingbird! I'm terribly sorry, but our Bangboo has recorded the truth of your criminal acts. If you surrender and admit your guilt now, I trust that public security will not administer too harsh of a punishment. No, I won't go to jail. Never. I have no other choice. It's time you have a taste of Mockingbird's claws! Nah, you're done. Oh. Ellen? I'm sorry! I shouldn't have gotten mad if you guys helped me. Okay, just leave these ethereals to Lycon first. As you command. Oh, chosen one, please deliver your final judgment. Still late. Huh? Oh, wait a minute. What did Lycon just say? You never fail to impress me, Esquire Lycon! Esquire Lycon! It's time to showcase your real power! She's getting even more edgy. Oh boy. Lycon? Look at your big boss. Now what you gotta do? Okay, Ellen? That it? Take them down! As you wish, my liege. On the day of revelation. During the embers of the waning moon. That is when your karmic retribution shall strike. See the face? Holy shit. Damn. Uh, you 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 gonna get it, Mocking Birdle? Allow me to give you a warning. Never say that name again, or else no one will be able to save you. He's talking down that It is done. They should no longer be able to pose a threat. Uh, I can't believe Lycon went along with Lilac. I didn't know you were capable of a speech like that, Lycon. It's all because of Lilac, right? Yes. After we parted ways before, I took some time learning this trendy subculture. Miss Lilac, what did you think of my performance? Was it acceptable? <laughs> I... I... I am so terribly sorry. I... It appears my imitation of popular subculture was so poor. I have angered you to tears. Why if I am because she's angry? Lilac isn't crying because she's angry at you. That's... That's right. I... I just got ether in my eye, that's all. Um, I... I'm sorry. I was the one who dragged you into all of this, you know? When Mockingbird first reached out to me, I did notice they were really focused on me. They were super sus. Aw, you too? But what is wrong with this then game? Then they said I was one of the chosen. They said they needed my power. Look at the map, Floyd. And look you the map. no one has no one has ever said anything like that to me before. And then I just it, it was like I just stopped thinking. I'm so so sorry. Uh, well, this is all right. It's all right, really. We don't think it's your fault, Miss Lila. I don't think you need to be so harsh on yourself. Each and every person will have experiences like this of some sort. I once walked the wrong path as well, but it's all right. If one can turn back in time, they will manage to find their true path in life. Thank you. Ugh, now that I think about it, that was so embarrassing. Ugh, I can't believe I was going around proudly calling myself the companion of justice. In reality, I just got tricked by a bunch of guys well i think what we're doing now is in the name of justice 
Don't you? It is only thanks to you that we were able to gain video evidence of their crimes and take them down. Mr. Lycon. I'm really sorry to ruin the mood here, but... How are we going to move the people we knocked out out of the hollow? Should I call PubSec? Mm. That is indeed an issue. If needed, I can... Hey, what are you doing here? Were you the ones who called? Public security? Why are they here? Oh, I almost forgot. Before I entered the hollow, I set an automatic SOS. If I were gone too long, my phone would automatically call PubSec. The look is really prepared. Huh. I didn't expect Lilac to be so prepared. Uh, what's up with these tied up people? The Mogabugs, the Phantom Thieves. They're the legendary Phantom Thieves. Mockingbird. Lock explains what happened to the fight of the post security, carefully and laying the parts of Valor for playing as Master and Servant. I believe that sums it up. We took video evidence of the criminal activities that were being committed. We will submit it all to public security shortly. I see. Well then, I'll take these suspects back with me. Um, excuse me? I'm really sorry for causing all this trouble. It's because of me that all this happened in the first place. Why are you apologizing? We should be thanking you. You helped public security take down an entire criminal syndicate. Good job, young lady. Huh? That's right, Miss Lilac. I think you do deserve the title Companion of Justice. <laughs> Thank you all so much! Oh, that's sweet. Is Bell the womb again, or... Yep! Are you gaming without me? I mean, anyways. Wow, so much happens today. Ugh. I always feel like Lacan and I have a dark past. Actually, that was day two, and I got a very thing about what is me too. Then we'll probably get into the same thing, but let's not think about it too much now. It's time to take a rest. The, I'm going to sleep before- during the story quest, I mean, okay, yeah, I guess I am going to sleep. Okay, it's time to sleep. Well, number will sleep, I can't stop with last night, because rest. Okay. Rest well, well, okay, we're going to- What's the Mr. Lucas says you should still explore things to both of you in person. I wonder if you're able today. Uh, of course, we got time. Marvelous. We'll be there soon. Huh? At night? Uh, uh, I guess we're already awake? I think we are? I don't know. Okay, there she is. Hey, what you doing here? Hello! <laughs> I brought some desserts. Please, have some. I hope you like them. My friend recommended this flavor to me, and I bought mom and dad some too. It should taste real good. Okay, you enjoy some desserts with luck, luck, luck. Well, actually, after what happened, word had been going around that one of the students helped PubSec take down a huge crime syndicate. Everyone's real curious who it is and saying how amazing that student is. <laughs> I know it's only thanks to you. Okay, so recently, I had an idea. And the true heroes are always behind the scenes. I've decided to draw my own comic series based on the topic. The pro tag, intent on becoming a hero, and after experiencing all kinds of encounters, eventually realizes that true justice exists in everything he's done. A story like that, yeah. So you can draw too. Wow, that's an epic story. And you know how to draw too? Impressive. I, I've read a lot of comics, and though I might not be all that great at drawing now, I want to try. Okay. I think that's a marvelous idea. I think so too. Thank you so much. This all really means a lot to me. Mr. Lycon, Mom and Dad said that your contract with our family ended. They said you didn't renew it because your schedule is already so stacked. Though it's sad to see you go. I guess it can't be helped. But there's something I want to say to you. Um... You, you're the best attendant I've ever had. I am honored to receive such praise from you. <laughs> Guess I'll be off then. Let's have dessert together again when we get the chance. Uh, Lala Bell see you and leaves. You seem surprised. Lala seems to be doing well. Lilac seems to be doing well. I didn't think she would recover so quickly. I believe the reason Miss Lilac was susceptible to manipulation was because no one had ever expressed belief in her in such a way before. Her parents didn't spend much time with her due to work, and others her age didn't understand her hobbies. Thankfully, she has now found a passion to pursue, 
become closer with her parents, and made new friends. I am truly happy for her. <clears throat> By the way, here is your compensation. It is as we agreed, double your usual fee. I am, as ever, grateful for your help. Without you, this wouldn't have gone as smoothly as it did. Don't mention it. Don't mention it. Come find us if you need anything like this again. Of course. You are the best proxy I know. Truly. By the way, public security has confirmed that the people we took care of were merely copycats of Mockingbird. They used the name Mockingbird for their scams and deception. Hmm. You knew from the beginning, didn't you? You've known they were fakes for a while, haven't you? I see nothing gets past you. You could say that I am quite familiar with the real Mockingbird. That's why, when I heard the name, I already knew something was amiss. Familiar? How so? How do yes. you know Mockingbird? And just how familiar are you with them? I bet that's a story. I was once... deeply involved. Wait, so you mean to say... Yes, it is exactly what you think. Now you know me in my entirety. I sincerely hope that this doesn't frighten you. If I may, allow me to share another secret. In reality, I have had contact with this edgy concept before. Or this popular subculture, I suppose. I have even memorized and recited such sentences. Of course, under the influence of a certain old acquaintance. Let's hear it then. Really? Care to perform one or two? Well, if that is your wish, allow me to say now that if you wish to laugh, please do. There's no need to hold it back on my account. It would not be good for your health. Well then, let me begin. I offer this supreme honor to you. In this land of sin and virtue, solemnly do I swear. Humility, okay. courage, integrity, compassion, fairness, self-sacrifice, devotion, honor. That was him, I shall it? never compromise okay. in my fight against talking? evil. I shall never back down in my goal to uplift the downtrodden. I shall never betray my loyalty to my companions. It's loyalty to justice. Oh, Lycon. I can't believe you're having trouble memorizing such simple lines. <gasps> Could it be that there's something wrong with you here? Shut it. Uh -huh. Speaking of, why am I the only one who has to recite these cheesy as all hell lines? Because my performance is impeccable, and so I need no extra training. You, on the other hand, have slipped up thrice already. So what? We still got the job done. Using violence every time is so very boring. In any case, I want far more than just this. Imagine it, Lycon. One day, we will be like those who stand at the top, under the spotlight of praise and defamation, admiration and loathing, faith or betrayal. So, doesn't that sound super entertaining? Wait, do I have elf counts here too? <sighs> oh, not just foes, okay. <laughs> Save your daydreams for after we get this job done. It looks like I'm a step too late. It matters not. It's about time for a reunion. Dear traitor. Traitor? Oh, my God. Huh? Oh, my God. So, okay, let's talk to Ben now. Well, I think I'm taking too much information today. I feel like I got to know Lokan more. Yeah, I think so too. But since what he's willing to share all this with us, it proves Lokan trusts us. I think the heaven must have been very daring. Draining, right? You should get some rest. Yes, I will, since that's done. Oh, well, I'm gonna there. Like, subscribe, I'll see you on the other side, you know.